Hi, I'm Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet book. In this video, we'll tour selected elements of Painter's interface that we use for brush customization. Choose a brush in the brush selector. I have the medium bristle oils variant of oils chosen, as you could see in the brush selector. The first level of interface items we'll look at are in the property bar. The property bar has settings that allow us to adjust the stroke. For instance, here we have reset tool, freehand strokes, straight line strokes, align to path, perspective guided strokes, size, opacity, Resaturation, which is the flow of the media flowing out of the brush, and bleed, which allows us to smear or blend strokes depending on how much is chosen. In the far right of the property bar, we have dab options for this particular brush. The bristle panel, because it's a static bristle brush, and the blending panel. So this portion is the extended property bar. These buttons right here will change depending on which brush that you have and what settings were included when the brush was designed. Over here we have a button for the advanced brush controls and the advanced brush controls reflects the settings of the particular brush and here we can show or hide the general brush controls. For the painting that you see on screen, I used the medium bristle oils and a tapered version of it to paint the painting of the calla lilies. Now let's use the controls that we just reviewed to customize a brush. The medium bristle oils is chosen in the brush selector. By default, it paints a stroke with an even width. This is a static bristle brush. We'll give it an expressive taper. So let me open a new image. I'm going to click here to open the advanced brush controls and click here to open the general palette drawer. And let's open the color panel. So we have a nice blue chosen. And we're going to just make a stroke with the default medium bristle oils, you see that it's an even thickness. So I want to make a new version of this brush with a taper. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go to the size panel right here, and I'm going to take the min size down to just below 40%. And I'm going to set the expression to pressure. For fun later, try experimenting with these other types of expression. But for our purposes right now, pressure is going to work the best. So this is a static bristle brush. So you see now it makes kind of a, a spotty stroke. And we can correct that by going here and reducing the spacing. You see right now the spacing is, is very broad to, let me just type in 12%. And now look at our brush. And I like that we can see the bristles a little bit better too. So I'm liking this. And we will go to Brushes, Save Variant. And I'll call it Medium Bristle Oils Taper 2 because I'd already made one and click Save. Now that I have my custom brush saved, I want to choose the original default Medium Bristle Oils in the Brush Selector and choose Brushes, Restore Default Variant to return it to its original settings. Now I'm going to choose my Medium Bristle Oils Tapered Two. Now that we have our custom brush, we can export it to share with a friend or to back it up for another project. And we would choose our custom brush in the brush selector and choose Brushes. Export Brush to export it. And as you can see, 
We can also export a category and an entire brush library if we so choose. We can also create a new brush category by clicking Brushes, New Brush Category, and name it, and clicking OK. And as you see, I have a new brush category, actually a couple of them down here, Share Custom 1 and Oils 2. And I'm going to take my Medium Bristle Oils Tapered, and I'm going to copy the variant to my Shares Custom 1 and click OK. As you can see in this concise tour, Painter has excellent detailed options for customizing brushes. Enjoy Painter and happy painting! Mm -hmm.